If you like big phones and you might have your eye on big name handsets like Apple's latest iPhone Plus or New 10, or perhaps the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But should you actually care more about the lesser known LG V30? LG's larger Android phone to the G6 is more along the lines of an iPhone design-wise, which most people will probably care about. And though it doesn't have a notch at the top of its display a la the iPhone X, yay, rest assured that with its nearly non-existent bezel, the V30 ends up with the same kind of all-screen face, but it has a manageable 6-inch display, a third of an inch smaller than the Note 8s, but a half of an inch larger and nearly quarter of an inch larger than the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone X, respectively. Oh, and the V30 is thinner and lighter than all of those phones. So if you care most about having a big phone that doesn't feel it, the V30 might be your sweet spot. Though the V30 in practice is definitely a fast enough phone, it's hard to care about that when you know that the new Note 8 is available and can multitask with fewer hiccups. And comparing the performance of the V30 to the smoothness of Apple's latest iPhones, all of which from smallest to biggest include the brand new A11 Bionic chip, can make it look even slower, especially when taking pictures. And ah yes, the camera. Even though LG tried to differentiate the V30 by adding an industry best 1.6 f-stop low light sensor and new Cine features for recording film looking video, you're not gonna wind up caring about those. I mainly appreciated this camera shooter for the return of LG's unique kind of second lens. It's a wide angle or nearly fisheye lens that lets you really capture a full scene with ease. The picture quality of the camera in general is good. Probably just a tad below the Galaxy or iPhone cameras launched this year. But trust me, it's all about having that wide angle option. So all said, here's who should care about the V30. And that's anyone who wants to spend no more than 800 on a big phone. So if you care to spend a little extra on the 930 Note 8 or 999 iPhone 10, you will get a slightly faster, slightly more premium build phone. And laying out the same 800 on the bulky but smaller screened iPhone 8 Plus, or even less on the single camera lens Galaxy S8 Plus, will land you a phone that's not as great. What LG has with the V30 doesn't quite feel like a luxury device, but it just might be the sweet spot between that and a smaller or clunkier phone. And yay, wide angle lens. What do you think? Do you care about the LG V30? Leave us a comment and let us know.